common locating problem involves recognizing and locating multiple faults. From a distance, the signal strength reading of these two faults will appear as one on the bar graph. As you approach, the A-frame will locate the individual fault. However, there is an area between the two faults where the signals will cancel each other out. If you move too far too fast with the A-frame, you might miss the first fault entirely. The Metrotech cable and fault locating system will accurately locate even when you cannot use the A-frame directly over the cable, such as near busy streets or freeways. In these instances, you will need to determine the general area of the fault, then pinpoint its exact location using either the parallel method or the triangulation method. Remember that the signal strength at the fault must be sufficient to enable the A-frame to pick up that portion of the signal which extends beyond the edge of the road or freeway before it dissipates. If the signal is too weak, you will not be able to locate the fault using the parallel method or the triangulation method. With the parallel method, insert the A-frame into the ground parallel to the cable path. As you approach the fault, the bar graph will increase until the A-frame center passes a line perpendicular to the fault. When you pass the line perpendicular to the fault, the arrow will reverse direction. When the A-frame is centered perpendicular to the fault, the arrow indicators will change position rapidly and the signal strength bars will disappear. A more precise locating method is to use triangulation from two different points around the fault. Put the A-frame into the ground and move one spike in small increments until you find the position where the arrow reverses direction. When the arrow indicators change position rapidly, the A-frame is perpendicular to the fault. Mark this line and repeat the process with the A-frame at another nearby location. The point where the two lines intersect marks the fault. If the locate area is dirt or soft earth, use the spikes for faster locating. If your locating area is asphalt, concrete, or another hard surface, use the foam pad supplied with the unit. Saturate the pads with water and locate the fault as you normally would. Make sure you keep the pads as moist as possible, but do not let the water form a puddle between the pads, as this will short out the signal. Before you start to dig, turn the transmitter off. The high voltage sheath fault locating signal might give you a shock. After exposing and repairing the fault, turn the transmitter back on and check for additional faults. Once the line is fully repaired, turn off the transmitter and reconnect the cable grounds. The 9800 sheath fault locating system is a powerful, easy to use, highly accurate instrument with a full range of capabilities to meet the needs of the cable repair and maintenance industry. The lightweight A-frame with directional arrows and a fault severity indicator gives you pinpoint fault locating capability and the receiver's current measurement feature aids in fault detection. The 9800 transmitter with its built-in line resistance meter provides the simultaneous transmission of both fault finding and cable locating frequencies and a thousand volt output for high impedance faults. Mastering the art of cable fault finding requires skill, experience, and knowledge. By using the Metrotech sheath fault locating system and following step-by-step -step procedures, you will be able to perform your job faster, safer, and more effectively. <laughs>